do you feel like Fresh and Fit are so rich that they can like survive like losing like the YouTube income? I mean, Myron says he does a lot of investment property stuff. I don't yeah. know what that means or what that looks like on paper. I don't know what his financials are like. Yeah. Um, Fresh. Walter can maybe rent out his Lambo that he leases. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, that's I'm going to be honest. I, I, don't, I, I really shit on Walter a lot because the subreddit does it. And it's just funny. But yeah. I, uh, there are a lot of times on the He's show. Nice. Not even just nice. But there are a lot of times on the show where it's so fucking weird. And I know this isn't the case. Yeah. But nobody is understanding what I'm saying. And then out of nowhere fresh like this quiet dude will come and be like i think what destiny's trying to say is this and he actually gets it 100 percent. and so i wonder sometimes if he's like mask on you know he plays like some i, I doubt it right you don't think so it, listen, but i mean he seems yeah. like a nice guy i've never ever ever had a problem with fresh ever in my life he's never done anything yeah, weird no. or anything, yeah. and like he stutters too like me so like we mm-hmm. you know are on the same plane true but like yeah in, in terms of like what they both bring to the show there's a large percentage of people who look at like myron as like the thought leader and look at Fresh as like the, you know, as like, I guess like the, I don't want to say dweeb, right? But like the guy who, who's like, who like, who's just there, right? Now, now here, right? From actually like talking to these two, is their dynamic like that in person? Like, is Here's Ryan, what I'll like, say, okay? Yeah. Normally, I'd never wait into the, wait, is this live stream, by the way? No, no. no. Oh, okay, just checking. Cut. Yeah. Oh, I know you guys don't cut shit. Okay. <laughs> I saw the house trap saga. No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, uh, wait, was it house trap? What was that guy's name? No, house phone. Oh, house phone. Fuck, sorry. Yeah. Um, here's what I will say. Okay, I'm only saying this because I have so much respect for Myron. Yeah. Um, is Myron has a couple of personality traits mm-hmm. that are double sided. The the one I'll talk about the most is his yeah. loyalty. He's yeah. very 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 loyal to around him, which in and of itself can be a commendable trait. Of course. But um, Myron operates like on another level that dude is incredibly driven like he oh, really? sets all the camera shit up he's like running around like doing everything that guy will gym at like two in the morning and like show up for a show like immediately at, like he's oh really he's like wow. yeah he's like he runs on another level um and sometimes uh i understand his loyalty you know i'm still here with who i started with that kind of shit of course but i wish that the other people around him sometimes i think could step up a little bit more to match his dedication oh, really? yeah like not, fresh well anybody <laughs> I, wait, to be, I, I want to reiterate. Yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody's a bad person or anything on that show no, or whatever. No, no, and I no. think even like Fresh and I think the other guys would acknowledge that like Myron is like, he's like pushing everything forward hardcore. That's just the kind of person he is. I think. Yeah. Oh, better question. Mm-hmm. Uh, so hey, right? I bet. So does Myron and this Fresh? Right? Let's say this. Does two Freshes meaning if you like take Myron out and 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 like. Replace Myron with another fresh. Does two freshes take fresh and fit to where they are now? Why are you asking me these questions, man? Yeah, yeah, come on. <laughs> huh? I, I gave my answer. Fuck you, okay? <laughs> no, 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 yeah, right, no. Like was... no, 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 right? I, better question then. Uh-huh. You take fresh out. Does two Here's Myrons... what I will say. Let me, yeah. let me put it this way, okay? Yeah. Fresh at his best yeah. is a really good counterbalance to Myron. And the dynamic of them works really well. Yeah. You got Myron, the guy that's there, and he's you know one hundred percent. And then you got Fresh, who's you know. Uh, who's chill? Who's cool? What do you think about that? You know, like that. Yeah. yeah, right. They work really well when they're both at their best. They work really well together. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Okay. Now, uh, how damaging do you think that particular like content is to, I guess, society and in general? I would say incredibly damaging. <laughs> But obviously, but I mean, they would probably, I imagine they would feel the same way about me, right? Because I'm giving advice. It's completely on the opposite spectrum of what they're saying, right? Yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. Right. But, okay. So then if, if you feel like that particular content is extremely damaging to, to uh, society, right? Then shouldn't there be like an argument for, hey, listen, bro, if we all exist in society mm-hmm. and the goal is to keep, us as harmonious as possible, then anything that disrupts the harmony should probably be eradicated from society. So then why wouldn't you be pro them getting banned if you believe they're extremely detrimental to society? Diversity is our greatest strength. Um, (laughs) Unironically, like the cool thing about the United States, and it's way cooler than any of these dog shit Middle Eastern countries these guys obsess over going to 
in Dubai, the UAE, whatever. The coolest thing about the United States, we get so many different people with so many different opinions that like I can think that content is actually demonstrably harmful to society. Mm -hmm. And they could say, I think your content is demonstrably harmful to society. But at the end of the day, we all live in the same country. We live in the same state. Mm -hmm. We get the same vote in elections. We get to occupy the same spaces. I mean, at the end of the day, we get to fight it out over who we think is right or wrong. Yeah. I think that that value is really important to protect because you get, you get a collaboration of people and, and this mixture of people that you'll never, ever, ever, ever see in any other country in the world, right? Yeah. Where are you going to have a panel with, with a cokehead Zerka, with Sneeko, <laughs> who is any religion at any point in time, with Destiny, <laughs> no, you know, man. white dude, with, <laughs> fucking, uh, with, with uh, Nick Fuentes, like the yeah. white nationalist guy, yeah. and then with fucking Fresh and Fit, you know, two black guys in the United States that have a really popular podcast. Like, the, like mm. that collection of characters for yeah, that show can only happen in the United States. And partially because we defend people's right to say things, even if we think it is damaging to society or harmful. So, yeah. no, I think we should absolutely do That's why I think that, like, you shouldn't be celebrating when people like Fresh and Fit get demonetized because you should be, unless, again, unless they broke a rule that I'm not aware of. If they broke a rule or something, then there's a stronger argument for it. But at the end of the day, having a diversity of opinions is really important for what this country sure. stands for. Yeah. Have you seen Pearl's new grift? What is it now? Now is the IQ tests are rigged to to like make women uh, like feel like feel like they're smart when they're actually stupider than men, and there's no woman like who can compete. So here, right here. So again, like verbatim is mm -hmm. the IQ tests are rigged to make women feel like they're as smart as men. Okay. <laughs> like at some point, is it just like beneath you to even like? A cage with Pearl? Yeah. It has been for months. I blocked her on Twitter. I was like, I, this oh, is, really? yeah, it's retarded. It's stupid. It's just like every possible negative thing you can think about women, she comes on and tweets. And she does it as like a teenage girl because that's essentially what she is, right? Mm -hmm. She's got no long-term relationship. She is a Nepo baby. Her first jobs are working for her parents. Now she's got like her fun little YouTube channel and that she travels mm -hmm. around the world for because mom and dad will pay for everything. And mm -hmm. yeah, she she's just like a child. She has no life experience. So for her to get out and be incredibly hateful and all this is like, I don't know why anybody even listens to you. You, you have no life experience to even speak from. Like, why are you talking, yeah. right? Man. I remember being on that show with her, and she was like, "Do people really care about chores?" One of the well, big problems with households for divorce. One of, it absolutely is a reason. Chores? When you oh, get when you get older and you manage a household on your own, Pearl, you'll see how mm -hmm. annoying it is when you're mm -hmm. working and then you come home and yeah. everything is yeah. up and horrible and nobody's fucking cleaning anything. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, that yeah. is a totally valid reason for divorce, of course. Divorce. Yeah. Chores to break up a home, Pearl, a family. Have kids. you lived in a filthy home? You've never lived with a difficult person. If it is consistent, where you're consistently having to have that burden upon yourself, you keep telling him. Please, can you clean up? Like, it's so funny because, like, me. lifelong friends from, like, grade school to high school will mm -hmm. dorm in college and then hate each other forever over, mm -hmm. like, bad dorm roommates. Yeah. And that's not even a relationship. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, of course I think stuff like this is perfectly valid. It's I think I think splitting up, and splitting, up splitting up duties in the household is, like, one of the most important parts of, like, a relationship. Because yeah. yeah. it's where you're spending most of the time together. This is why I say, people get triggered when I say, I don't think you're even dating until you live together. Because until mm -hmm. you live together, you don't really know who the other person's like. And once you start living together and you see what the household duties are like, then you get a feel for what the relationship is. I mean, I just, I just think that, like... <laughs> I don't know. I feel like that stuff can be worked out. Chores? Like, hold on. Wait. Things, do you understand? Your, wait, wait. Hold on. Wait. Things. You're not saying anything. Do you do this intentionally? We're like, I don't know about that. Mm -hmm. And I can understand her saying it because she's probably got like seven different <laughs> Hispanic maids, you know. Maybe you don't care about chores, yeah. but yeah, for a lot of people. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why the maids got to be Hispanic, Dustin? Because I don't think she's hire <laughs> white people to clean her house. <laughs> That's why. Oh, wait. Wait. Is because niggas too lazy. <laughs> and like white folks are rich yeah <laughs> right hey right yeah. no but bro listen man like I, I like hop off the pearl sh when she like started like talking about talking about like virgins right and then like when you check into like pearl's past she don't fuck, like seven black guys <laughs> so like like to me it's kind of like why are, are you like harping and on this virgin sh when she's not really right right mm -hmm. here right now, right? So, hey, right, what was, like, your, like, thoughts when, like, uh, I think Ethan can, like, like kind of, like, like confronted her? I was really worried because Ethan Klein doesn't I, do the best in debates. Oh, uh, really? Oh, my God. It was absolutely brutal. He no, it was absolutely bad. fucking destroyed her. It was bad. Now, do you feel like, though, like, there should be... Now, Pearl's a dick, right? But there should be, like, some good faith, right? Meaning, like, I if you tell her... She's, like, decently nice. She's just, like, a retard on Twitter. Yeah, she's right? she's never been, like, mean personally to me or anything. She's never done anything, yeah. I feel like her ideologies are probably, like, right? But, right, but, like, if... Okay. If you, like, tell her, hey, listen, man, we're trying to interview you. And she's going and, and, and under the pretense of, hey, you know, like, this is going to be a mutual, friendly, good faith interview... 
do you think that Ethan, like, an older, like, the right to tell her, hey, listen, like, we're going to go hard on you? Or do you feel like her walking into the lion's den was all fair? I don't know. I'd have to see the emails that they sent yeah. beforehand because everybody will claim, like, she did the same thing with Pierce Morgan. She's like, oh, they didn't tell me what it was going to be. Oh, yes. they never, why not publish the emails and show us what they actually said? Mm. Um, because, I mean, it's Ethan Klein. Like, you know that he does a podcast with Hassan. You know that they're a fairly left-leaning, progressive, yeah. like, podcast when it comes to politics. Like, wouldn't you expect him to roast the f*** out of you? Of course. Like, that's what I would be ready for, yeah. Yeah. 